Welcome to this video about ISO 19650 document naming and workflow changes. So the ISO 19650 standard provides a very clear and structured method for naming documents. In this example, we are naming a drawing using the seven mandatory fields which you will see are all separated by hyphens. The first is the project identifier which can be between two and six characters long. In this example is J0933. We then have the originator, which is a short code for the business that created the document. This code can be between three and six characters long, and in this example it's EXC for Excitec. We then have the volume or system. This code is used to identify zones of a project and is typically two characters long. There are two reserved volumes, ZZ equals all volumes and XX equals no applicable volume. In the example, we have selected ZZ. Next, we have the level. Once again, this would normally have two characters and has the reserved ZZ and XX codes. It also has 00, which equals base level, and 01, which equals level 1. M1 equals mezzanine level 1, and B1 equals basement level 1. We have selected level 1, i.e. 01. After level comes type, and this is also typically a two character code. The standard defines most of these, so you will need to make sure you are selecting and using the correct one. We have selected DR for a 2D drawing. Next we have the role, which is usually one to two characters long. The standard defines most role codes using single characters, but you can add your own two character codes. We have selected M for mechanical engineer. And then lastly, we have a sequential number, which is usually four to six characters long. So the Common Data Environment, or CDE, comprises of four areas. Work in progress, this is where you edit your documents. Shared, which is for non-contractual sharing of documents, e.g. for information purposes. Published, which is for contractual issuing of documents. And archived, which is your record of anything that has been issued, either from shared or from published. Based on what we now know about the file naming, we can see that the document in WIP is for job 878. The originator of the document is EXC, which we know is Excitex originator code. The document refers to multiple zones, ZZ, is regarding level 01. It's a 2D drawing. The role is mechanical engineer, and it is number two in the series. So in accordance with ISO 19650, the revision for any new document must be P01.01, and this should be reflected on the title block of the drawing. P01 is the revision, and 01 is the internal revision. The version can be very useful. For example, a drawing may have five cycles of edits before it is issued externally. If it only had a revision, e.g. P01, and you had all five prints in front of you, you would have no easy way to determine which is which. So when the engineer has finished the drawing, she will need to get it approved. You may have your own internal process for this, but it's typical to have one or more checking and approval steps before the document is held in WIP as approved. So we first send it for approval. And once approved, it sits in an approved state like this. A senior colleague will then determine who is going to receive the document and for what purpose. In this example, we want the purpose of issue or suitability to be for coordination which is suitability code S1. So a copy of the drawing needs to be created in the shared area. The file name needs to be changed to include the suitability code and the revision. So you will see that in the shared location, the name is longer and includes S1P01. You will also need to edit the title block on the drawing to both include the suitability code and to truncate the revision from P01.01 .01 in this example to just P01. To continue with the next round of edits to the drawing, you will need to change its status from WIP approved to WIP. In moving the document back into the editable WIP state, you need to be sure to bump the revision up from P01.01 .01 to P02.01. .01. Please note though, if the drawing had received five edits in WIP and the revision was P01.05, .05, when moved back to WIP, it should change to P02.01. .01. Once the edits have been made, it can be sent for checking and approval. 
as before, it's moved from WIP for approval to WIP approved, like this. As before, a senior member of staff will then determine the suitability code, and in this example, they want to send it for stage approval, which is suitability code S4. You can only have one version of the file in either shared or published, so in copying the file into shared, you need to move the one that's there into archive. As before, the title block on the drawing will need to be updated to show the suitability and revision, which will need to be truncated to P02, and the file name will need to have S4 P02 appended to it. We will make one more edit, so we will need to push the WIP approved version back into WIP. As before, the revision will increment and will need to be updated to P03 on the title block. So now we wish to publish the P02 version of the document in shared as authorised and accepted. So it needs to 1. Move into the published area. 2. Have its title block updated to show suitability code A1 and a revision of C01. And 3. The file name needs to show this too. There can only be one version of the document in either shared or published. So the shared copy now needs to go to archive. 